Respect to my leader, Mazi Nandekano, IPOP. Wow. 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 Our people, they frustrate, they suffer. Them, they hustle for something to eat. Chukoki can bless our land with resources, but we still living in poverty. To what they are my head. Why are we living with Python? To what they are my head. We are living with vultures. In this zoo, there is no law, no constitution of human rights. Freedom is all we are for. Freedom is all we are for. You have to free our great nation. We love and cherish. You have to. Free our great nation are all will perish. They carry girl around with the massacre. They kill our people and say we'll be handing man. No food to chop, no job, no joy. Mama, papa goes there for school, all in vain. <laughs> Even the workers, no payment. Child was born in suffering, born in suffering, she died in suffering. In this country, so a pity, a pity. We are not brothers, just let me go. No culture, no tribe, just let me go. Not really John or the same thing came. Can you tell me what makes us in unity? Freedom is all we are seeking for. Freedom is all we are seeking for. You have to free our great nation, we love and cherish. You have to free our great nation, or all will perish. Our 
Yes, we have to fight for the freedom of our great nation or all of us will perish. This is Radio Biafra Extra and we are streaming live through Radio Biafra London. Radio Biafra London is being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. His name is Mazu Chuka from Efo. He is from Abatete. Abatete is in Anambra State and Anambra State is Biafra land. Mazu Chuka from Efo is the man who have assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. Mazu Chuka from Efo is standing on a deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader Mazenan, the Oku Kano, the King of Afali Biku, the one and the only man who stood up to speak for the collective interest of the Biafran people for almost 60 years now, nobody have done that. Mazenan, the Oku Kano, is from Afali Biku. Afali Biku is in Umwahia. Umwahia is in Abia State, and Abia State is Biafra land. By the special grace of Chukwuki Kabe, I remain George Onibe. I am from Abo. Abo is in Delta State, and Delta State is Biafra land. And of course, as always, I must proceed to acknowledge the Creator, Chukwuki Kabe, the one who sits in heaven and presides over the affair of man, the one who has set our feet upon this path that we must follow. That as always, He will take all the glory and honor. Because he is the one who guides us in everything we do. In my humble way this morning, I remember him. Anina Jake Mau Makanesu Kuni Maramai Ehunanya Nenake Ubi Omage Ojo Manya Dajo Ingwe Gimbangu Oh, the only the kage, the boa fa no mega, ane ne ne na sena, ne de mo isi, isi, isi. And of course, as always, without wasting much of our time, we will go to our topic this morning, which is simply titled "The Beauty of Fighting the Good Fight of Faith." The beauty of fighting for freedom, Ralda. When it comes to considering what we are doing here on Radio Biafra, what we are doing in IPOB, I can tell you that it is beautiful to fight for freedom. Each time I consider what we are here to do, I see myself honored and, of course, privileged. Even though I know that we may end up fighting with ourselves and in every way imaginable. Yet I feel honored. Each time I come forward and consider what are we doing in IPUB? What are we doing in Radio Biafra? We all understand we end up fighting ourselves. But here this morning I want to remind you about the beauty of fighting for freedom. And this is something most of you will not understand. But we are here to make you understand. For in the end, you will understand that this journey started for one purpose and it will end in one purpose. I took this Bible description considering what Paul too said to Timothy in 1 Timothy. He said, fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. To the end, proving everybody who have called you that you are a committed servant, knowing fully well that you have those who will testify, witnesses for what you are doing. But I tell you, it's not an easy fight. Even though we know that we may end up losing everything that we represent, But yet we have to fight this fight, and I can tell you it is beautiful. In the course of trying to fight for the freedom of Biafra, for instance, because the same thing that happens to us here in IPUB has happened to everybody. There is no freedom fighter that will escape this. We will fight ourselves. We will fight idiot. We will fight Christian. We will fight pastor. We will fight Satan. If care is not taken, we can even fight God. 
but it's beautiful in the end because we understand that some of us will lose our wife but yet it's honorable and i told you it is a privilege i have seen many comrades their wife abandoned them some of them are listening to this radio as i'm talking what is the problem i remember one in anna Ras we speak now he was arrested in one of the first protests we organized in this struggle he was locked up in port Harcourt prison before he came back they were rumored that his wife has turned to a prostitute and maybe the woman have to prostitute to take care of the children but the woman could not take it even when the man came back the woman packed her load took the children and left the house the guy i'm talking to you now he's still single but he had children he cannot see them that is the price we pay for fighting for freedom here in radio biafra here in ipob and it is the same thing with every freedom fighter across the globe sometimes you think we don't know all these things the brothers they call me our leader is aware of who i'm saying he lost his wife yes we understand but i tell you it is beautiful some of us have lost their children like a good example i have given one of our brother from Akwaibo, he died in Obi. He died in one of the protests. He was shot by Nigerian military. He's from Akwaibo. We buried him in Obibu because his people in Akwaibo refused him to be buried in his father's land. It is beautiful. The father or the relative who remain, they always call me. Have you people forgotten us? But so many dead bodies to be forgotten. So many of them. We understand all these things. But I tell you, fighting for freedom is the most beautiful thing that can ever happen to anybody. Some have lost their money. I tell you what I know and what I feel every day. Some have lost their money. One brother went to protest in Imo State. And in that protest, one full animal saw him. I was a man saw him. And he knew him in Port Harcourt. He brought them to his shop. His shop here in Port Harcourt. And the boy's shop was shut down. He was hungry, he was homeless, he was jobless because of this struggle. But I want you to understand all the people who have encountered this thing, none of them have backed down. We wish you would do more. But in the end, you will see the beauty of everything we have bled for. But let me continue. Some of us has lost their life. How many countless people are we going to talk? They knew they were going to die. If I tell you I do not understand the consequence of what I'm doing today, and then I'm a liar. But I tell you that hundred times over, if God give me hundred times to come into this world as a dear friend in prison in Nigeria, I will do this thing over and over again. Because I know in the end, you will appreciate the beauty. And so many people died, and we are still here. Some will lose their country. Some have lost their country. Trying to do what we are doing here. If I tell you it is a honor, you will not understand. Do you know there are many people who cannot come to Nigeria again until Biafra is restored? They lose their country. A lot of idiots around the world will not want to acknowledge you that you are Biafra. Rather, they want to see you as a Nigerian. But we rather die as a stateless, stateless individual than to subscribe to one Nigeria. And so most of us are stateless already. Even though United Nations will fail to recognize that, we will not answer. Do you know United Nations give visa, stateless visa to Fulani headsmen? But they know there are a lot of stateless people in the world. We understand all these things. Believe me. Some of us, we lose our faith. I remain a Christian. Not because of uh, Mazim and Four Brokers. Not because of what Donald Trump is saying about Christian. I'm a Christian. And I have constantly said it. Nobody violates my conscience. But I have repeatedly said that I hold the culture and respect my ancestors more than any religion, more than any human being, more than anything I hold here in life. Because I am the extension of my father. And my father is the extension of his father. And his father is the extension of the next father. Before there was ever religion, we were here. 
And so nobody violates my faith. The truth about Christianity is that they have failed to stand up to their responsibility. They have shed criminals among them. They have failed to embrace the truth and they have become more sentimental than ever. And then somewhere along the line, somebody has to change the of history because this same thing led to the crusader rising up to fight away the Fulani jihadist idiot in their time. Catholic church and other church should tell us why they have crusader in those days. And church today would not want to talk about crusader because many of those criminals want to hide. We will not let them hide. But of course, the message of our deputy is cleared. Those of you who are misusing the privilege, you are on your own. And a Christian who fail to stand up and fight back, you are on your own. Because in the end, we will give account to the Creator. From America to China, from the richest country in the world, all of you will give account to the Creator. This is one truth that will elude everybody. Yes, I can assure you that many people will lose their family. Many will lose their family. The tomorrow morning, people still call. My brother went to so, 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 please, he didn't come back. My sister went here, he didn't come back. The tomorrow morning, many people will lose their happiness. Many people. Nothing gives you joy. I have spent almost like two years, one frustration to another, one frustration to another. I am supposed to be happy, but I cannot be happy. Why? Because I'm a beer friend. Why? Because I'm a member of IPOB. Why? Because I am here to stand for the freedom of my people. And so is every man and woman who have taken that stand. But yet we fight knowing that in the end, we will get it all back. And we will be very happy for every sacrifice that we have made. Because we know that they will test our resolve. Our resolve will be tested and it will be tried. But in the end, everything that we fought for will be us. There are things you may not understand. But let me try to bring you closer a little bit. There is a story about a kingdom. A kingdom that was attacked by the enemy. These people, the, their leader was blackmailed, and which led to his death. Only his bodyguard knew this truth that their king was blackmailed. And the reason their king, their leader was blackmailed, was so another man can take over that kingdom. And that man succeeded in his evil plan, and they killed the king. And eventually handed over that country to that man who betrayed the king and the whole nation. And then they banish the bodyguards, subject them, reduce them to animal. But they have one thing in mind. They knew that their community will be gone except they fight back. And so they took time and regroup. They took time, they replanned. They took time and they came back. And they made a vow never to sleep under the same heaven with the person that killed their master. It was not easy. They lost their wife. They lost comrade. They lost their business. They lost their place of honor. They lost everything they hold dear. But they had only one mission. And that mission is that that man will never sit on that throne. And we tell you here, we have one mission. Britain will never survive as far as Nigeria will remember. Her calamity has not come. Yoruba will suffer, Awosa will suffer, Fulani will suffer. Anybody that stands in the way of Biafra, it doesn't mean who you are. You will suffer. It's just your time. Make use of it while you have it. And then they fought back. They fought back till they made sure that the enemy of their people was slain. And at the end of the day, the true king's son was reinstated to rule the community. But according to the law of the land, all of them who disobeyed the highest king order were to be executed. Yes, they died. They died honorably. They died gloriously. They died knowing fully well that their people are free. And that is whenever I tell or when, what led me to remind you about the beauty of fighting for freedom is that those who died before now, I can tell you they are happy much happier than any man or woman that has worked on this earth. You know why? Because we are still here. 
I have visited people in the prison, time without number. And each time I go there, the first thing they ask is not what did you bring for us. The first thing they ask is not what about our lawyer. The first thing they ask is not even their family. If you have visited those IPUB members lock up in the prison anywhere in Biafra land here, I want you to check them. I want you to begin to monitor them. The first thing they ask you is, how is the struggle? I have seen it happen many times, but I know they are not the ones speaking. But the spirit of Biafra that will never rest until everybody who is on our neck is brought down, he makes those comments through them. He speaks through all of us. They will ask you, how is the struggle? I will say we are doing fine. And you see relief in them. I could tell you from their expression, those who died, those who lose hope, those who lose anything, they are more fulfilled than those of you who are supposed to be fighting for Biafra. You are hiding. I want those of you who are secretly supporting the struggle, who are secretly, quietly supporting the struggle, I want you to check your heart. You will notice you feel relief anytime we talk here. You are not biased against us. You don't feel bad about us. You are happy you identify with us. This is a blessing that those saboteurs can only imagine. You see those people who are fighting against the freedom of their own father and their mother. I'm talking about the Biafra who play, desire to be saboteur, fight our leader, Mazen and the Kano, and which he for. Each time they hear our voice, guilt kills them. But believe me, we do not expect the world to understand us. We understand how they function, but we will make them listen to us. It's just a matter of time. This is stage one of this movement. If you are not yet ready to give your heart and embrace this pain that they want to bring to us, may the Lord have mercy upon you. I want to reflect your mind a little bit to one, one of the real black men that has walked this earth. He constantly say, some people want to reduce him to comedian, but I follow everything this man say. And if I have respect for any black man, I think he's one of them. I followed him up from childhood till he was trained by the Frank and phone to do evil, trained by the England phone to do evil against his people. He stood by the line of his people. I do not know your opinion about him, but I can tell you nobody has been vocal like this man all my life. His case is not like our case. He had access to the United Nations. Imagine if my leader had the access to put feet on the floor of the United Nations. United Nations would have been gone by now because they are not sincere. Let us go back a little bit. You see, the truth we will tell here, we will not compromise it. It doesn't matter whose heart is got. You people can make the pain go away. You people can stop this evil. You people can continue to think you are deceiving us. But in the end, you will see that every enemy of Biafra, they are dancing naked in the marketplace. And we are watching you with keen interest. How can only a handful of people, in fact, it's only America and the Europeans, those who say they are white-skinned, because they are white-skinned, anybody else who is not like us shall not have the power and strength, integrity that we have. If the United Nations is to survive, we must be equal members of it. Me equal members, members who can, who can say when we go to the body that we are now speaking truly as members with a voice that's understood, respected, and honored. So I wonder whether you have told them that we also are humans. <laughs> we are supposed to be free and independent, Mr. Ban Ki Moon. Supposed to be free, the 54 countries we come to the United Nations is ceremonial. Every year, September, we are there. We pay lots of money to go there. 
and the, the general assembly we make speeches we go back home year in year out but the bosses in the security council say you shall never have the powers that we have as permanent members and we have asked and asked and asked and asked and asked reform reform the security council I want to tell you, Mr. Bakti Moon, you are a good man. You are a good man. But of course, we can't make you a fighter. That's not what your mission was. We will fight a fight for our own identity for our own integrity and personality as africans we are africans robert mugabe may be late but he's still fighting a beautiful fight he said we will fight the fight for our identity is that not what we are here to do there is no profession there is no breed there is no group of people nobody that has not fought against biafra all because of our identity, and we will take it back. Robert Mugabe is one of the black men that have spoken out. What is United Nations doing? Fulfilling the deeds of uh, the jihadists, the Islamic world, and then because they are world power, we shouldn't say this truth, so they will not kill us. All of you, your time will wind up. You see, it is pathetic and very painful that we see people sitting in their ivory tower with a lot of power around them to influence justice, righteousness, fairness, equity to the global community. But you know what they do? They lie. But it's going to affect everything. Robert Mugabe reminded Ban Ki-moon in his United Nations office, or what they call it, he said United Nations will not survive. It has started already. Britain will divide. Britain will scatter because Britain have murdered a lot of innocent people from across the globe and their blood is crying against them. You see, United Nations will not survive because the truth is coming up. Men and women are fighting to preserve the truth. The truth itself by nature cannot be conquered and so it keeps coming back. How do you feel? Will you tell about us that uh, yes, uh, the, 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 the world went together in Geneva and they want to plan about the good of the world and you invite musicians to sing? And in the end, you know you are deceiving us. What were you thinking when you asked them to sing, we are the world? What were you thinking when you asked them to sing, heal the world, to deceive blacks, right? No, to deceive weak nations, as you call them, right? To deceive conquered people, right? United Nations in Geneva. Every year you go and dedicate music to deceive us. Everybody know. Free the indigenous people. We have been fighting this fight before we came here. Our father fought. We are here to fight. If you don't let us go, our children will fight. But we promise you one thing. Every generation will become more desperate until those of you who create evil are consumed by the evil. I try to see BBC and other fake media across the globe analyzing the trauma happening in Nigerian army, how one soldier shot many people, his coach, and killed himself. This is how a brief soldier fight. I have been looking for the name of that soldier because he must be remembered as an honorable soldier. And this morning, I tell you, if you are a soldier allowing an imposter as a Nigerian soldier, I know you are hopeless. You allow an imposter to be ruling you, giving you order in the guise of Abakayare or any other idiot. We, I have told you, George Onibe have told you, shoot them and die. You will die honorably. 
all those people asking you to come and guide them when you know you can't pay house rent. One room, no policeman can pay house room. Is that not why you are not a criminal? You are supposed to arrest criminal, but you are the criminal. How long will you die for out of your stupidity? You know these people are stealing the money. You escort this politician to steal the money. Not until you get to the level, you start shooting all of them. You will not, your children will never have future. Don't deceive yourself. This life is not about you. If it's about us, our leader will not be here. If it's about us, Mazim Efo will not be here. If it's about us, I certainly will not be here because I think I have better things to do with my life. But I understand that the greatest sacrifice is not the one you make for yourself. It's the one you make for people who cannot pay you. It's the one you make for people who you do not know. It's the one that you make for people that they cannot make themselves. I thought that is what United Nations, African Union, and other organizations, whether be it UNICEF, World Health Organization, whether be it Red Cross, whether be it inter-society, this is what they are supposed to. And that is why if you follow us here in Radio Biafra, we say we are in defense of the freedom and the right of the indigenous people. This is not only our loot. We can sit back and become police saboteur. We will play it very well, but we are here in defense of freedom and the right of the indigenous people. People who know they need freedom, but they cannot free themselves. People who understand this freedom is very expensive. They don't have what it takes. And people like us who see leaders who are sincere are ready to lead us to the end. The best we can do is to give them all that we have. Because in the end, no matter how we die, it will be glorious in the great sight, I must tell you. That is why you are a policeman, your governor, any idiot you are guiding now, you know he's carrying money. Shoot him and carry that money. Of course, you are listening, we will get there. You will terrorize these people till there will be no place to hide. How can few handful criminals collaborate with Britain and be making our lives miserable? And the Yoruba man cannot understand what you are saying here because of 10%. Awosa cannot understand what you are saying here because of 10%. What if there was no Donald Trump to be crying for all of you? May God bless Donald Trump. I, I, I just don't know him, but the way he does his thing, that is how all the world leaders are supposed to be doing. And as far as he's doing the right thing, I say may God bless him. And tomorrow he begins to behave like Abagdadi. I will come here if I have the free privilege. I will tell him that he's an idiot. But as far as he's a man, he stands like a man and speaks for the good of humanity. Even when it doesn't concern him, these are people who are fighting for freedom. Not just freedom of America, freedom of the whole world. So if at this moment you are enemy of Donald Trump, God will punish you like Nigeria. God will punish all of you like Nigeria. Because it's unfortunate that you tell us about the definition of righteousness. But your actions speak against your definition. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that everything you used to enslave us, you contradicted their meaning. It's unfortunate. You cannot hide them any longer. Today, you are a Christian, a genuine Christian, and your pastor is 419, and you don't kill him inside the church. You are going to go to hell and God will punish you. How long are we going to let all this idiot rule us? Today, you are a coordinator, and they are doing something to you. You cannot come out and report to TVs and thunder will fire you. As in first spent time trying to say those of you who are fleeted in Anambra or any part of Biafra land, home and abroad, make this report officially. Yeah, you are being gentleman. How much did they pay gentleman in Nigeria? In fact, in the whole world, how much did they pay gentleman? You think Donald Trump is a gentleman? They will, they, he will be in that seat. By now, they will kick him out. Maybe he will be in Mecca now. You don't be gentleman to cover it for. Anywhere you find yourself, you see who kick it out. It doesn't matter. There is a creator, I must tell you. Forget about what they think they know. A man can, a man can. It becomes dangerous when somebody runs on the offenses by the back end of God. And that is why all of us must be very careful. We're here to fight for our freedom. But I tell you, no matter what we lose in the air, it's going to be glorious. And so this morning, I call you to fight this beautiful fight. How do you fight this beautiful fight? You are Yoruba, you are Osa, you are Fulani, you are Nigerian, you are you are hopeless Nigeria, you are original Nigeria, you are the military. All these Abaki are a Tinubu them, that their house is, the money in their house is bigger than the money in the central bank. All of you racket them and shoot them. You will die because you will die in the end. One way or the other, you will die. If you are not Fulani, whether you are Osa, Yoruba, you will die in Boko Haram hand. Then die honorably like that man. 
who have to kill four of his colleagues. I know he would have wanted to kill more. Only four was there. At least they are resting peacefully in heaven now. These are the real warriors that we collect 27 virgin. Not you that will be killed by Boko Haram now. The same Boko Haram they are going to, to, to give scholarship to school somewhere in America or in Dubai. Don't you see the level of uh, the way these people regard us is unbelievable. They came here on Yoruba Gota Media and start telling you, oh, uh, yes, uh, we are killing uh, we are the, the people killing you, the Fulani Hesmen, Miyati Allah, and Boko Haram. They are foreigners. Uh, they are not Nigerians. All of a sudden, they are not training foreigners who come to kill us in our land. Who did all these things to all, all of you? An idiot will say, this is our country, this is our... It doesn't matter who you are. Thunder will fire you. All of you, keeping one Nigeria, you will die miserably. But you have a way to redeem yourself and your children. You are police. Shoot all the governor who are idiots fighting for one Nigeria. They are criminal. They are the reason you will not have medical health care. You are the reason you will not have peace in your life. They are the ones sponsoring Boko Haram. Our leader last brokers. He said people don't know that railing courtism, terrorism group is a good business in Nigeria. Britain is the manager of all of them. British government is the one managing them. And you send your son to school. Well-trained son. And in the next four years, he's a terrorist. He's a courtist. And he will be assassinated. The policeman child will be assassinated. The army man child will be assassinated. But the people who are doing this evil, they send their children abroad. We know honorable people. We have seen people who died. There was a Biafran pilot from America. He went... He came to help Biafrans during 1967 and 1970 genocidal war. He was carrying a plane because he's a pilot from America to come and feed his people. His plane crashed. He died with a wife. I do not have the name, but his record is there. They will be remembered. And that is a glorious way to die. Are we going to talk about Bruce Marrock, who burned himself in America to tell America, stop killing Biafrans? And then some people are pretending they don't know what we are going through. Many of them are lining up now, looking at what we are not seeing well. But God will punish all of you. If you are a human being partaking of the feeding from the misery of the Afrian people, God will punish all of you. We will come, we will, we will respond to all of you. Don't worry, be planning. Because what you want us to come here and we begin to talk like gentlemen. But our father has been doing this for the last time we can check. We have tried to sound politically correct. We have tried to reach out diplomatically. Of course, we are still doing that. But now we are running out of patience. All of you who call yourself Nigeria, what is coming for you, you are not ready for it. But we can end this thing peacefully. We understand that to die fighting for Biafra is a glorious death, a honorable death, a peaceful death. They will always have peace. Do you know how many people that are locked up in the prison? Do you think they are quarreling? Do you think they are quarreling? I was there. I know that there is no higher calling. There is no greater calling than to be a Biafra fighting for Biafra freedom. It doesn't matter where you belong. We cannot be divided about any nonsense. We cannot be divided. I mean, I don't even know any... On, on, on IPOB in Biafra, I don't know anything. The only thing I know is IPOB. And the next thing I want to know is who the leader is. For every other thing doesn't consign me. It doesn't consign me. It's of no importance to me. What I want to know is that IPOB is here fighting for Biafra and the people leading us is the people who are supposed to lead us. And then at the end of the day, I know I die gloriously. I know the people I fought side by side with. And if we have to die, we will tell you how it's going to be. Don't let them pick us up one one. Some of the things you are seeing that we have been shouting about now, today you know it's not a lie. Somebody put on social media, he has a compound fenced, full any man, take car, open gate, bring car into somebody's compound because they knew there is a foul there. They want to provoke those people. And if that man reacts now, what they will do is to burn down that house. The next thing they meet the ego in that community. And the ego in the community will say, okay, since they have killed Awosa and full, since they have killed Fulani and cow, they should take the property. Have you seen dead body of one Fulani man killed anywhere in Yoruba land or in Biafra land? Have you seen it? That is because they are not the one killing. This is a Nigerian army doing the work of the Islamic nation to Islamize us 
But one thing they should not, they can count on is that we are coming for them. She be they want Islam. All those idiots claiming to be Islam. Don't let us impersonate you because you people will not survive. If that is what that will guarantee our survival in the end, if you people can idiot allow Buhari to impersonate, we will impersonate all of you. You be, be playing the music. We are watching your dance step. We have been saying it. I'm, I'm talking to those who found themselves in the prison called Nigeria. You pretend you don't know what is happening. Today it has eaten up all of you. I don't know if one church can even protest. I thought Holy Ghost fire will fight by now. Thunder will fire all of you. This is the same way. Some people are still in the honorable house. Is it not honorable chamber you call it? You are still deceiving us. Of course, you are saying the truth gradually, but God will punish all of you. Somebody have to pay this price. Somebody have to fight this fight. Nigeria, stop deceiving yourself and stop this evil. It is worse than coronavirus or coronavirus. Nigeria is worse than... That is why you see me, I don't feel it. If you have it, please bring it close to me. I need it. Because Nigeria is worse than coronavirus. But I tell you, we will survive all of them. What a wicked country. What a hopeless people. And what a wicked handler. When I know about British government and all the idiots stealing oil from Biafra land, I knew Satan is a good man. If I come here and begin to praise Satan one day, you people do not misquote me. Because Satan is more kind than British government. What are you not telling me? Is it because they say Satan do this one, Satan no do that one? If you can come out and tell me that British government is better than Satan, then I know I have been a failure in my life, except they are Satan. Because I see more of the evil of British government around the globe than that of Satan. You kill any indigenous people, Britain. You colonize Britain. You terrorize Britain. You slime out Britain. You Christianize Britain. You agomalize Britain. Everywhere there is looting and robbing and stealing. Britain. They had gang that way they were sharing it with United Nations, the European Union. They have pulled out of European Union. So they can eat the, 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 the money alone. Greediness. Every manifestation of the fruit of Satan, you see it in Britain. Are we talking about lasciviousness, uncleanliness? Are we talking about greed, fornication, adultery? What are you not talking? What is it not coming from there? What do they have to offer? And that way you hear, oh, it's UK, we are panicking. All of you will bleed shame and disgrace. But these things can be stopped. Free the indigenous people. Free Africa. Your charm on Africans can work. But we are here to destroy the foundation of that evil spiritually. It doesn't matter who you are. Is it Illuminati or Lamanati or Akatako? Casa any name. We will, dis we will neutralize all your weapon against Africa. But it's not fair. It's not fair that you are a member or a permanent member of the United Nations. Permanent arm robber of the United Nations. Your percentage cannot be reduced. And then the people who owns what you steal are a temporary member. Let the world tell themselves the truth once and for all. And I must tell you, the new generation of Musepia, irrespective of where you come from. Study your government and find out how they make their money. I can assure you, if you are sincere yourself, you will not be too proud of themselves. The reason I love IPOB, the reason I love Biafra, we are the only people that come and we even criticize ourselves just to make sure that things are right. You think we are stupid? As in before came on air yesterday, and if you have not listened to that broker, you go back and make sure it's sinking to your head. We come here at times, we look as if we're attacking our people because we want to be sincere in its totality. You think we cannot cover ourselves? There would have not been any beauty in what we are doing. Because this, this George Onibe that is talking now, if I fuck up, you will see how IPOB will treat my fuck up. And that is why I'm very careful not to fuck up. Oh, we love you, we love you. Try and fuck up. You know that we do not have two standards. And then if we don't pity ourselves when we fuck up, are you the idiot we are going to pity? That is why you should know that we are more dangerous than you can imagine. We are the only people that come up openly, tell the whole world, no, our people are bad, our people are this, our people do this one. But we know we are the angel on earth here. For God do not cover evil. He lives in a light that darkness cannot get close to. And so we can't cover evil. 
we may be black and skinned, but we are the true light. For we are the darkness that must be most the light. Having said so, you are a peer friend. We keep telling you, it will not always be like this. We have time table. And the time we are now is time for talking, 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 talking. Do yourself the favor. Honestly, I understand how difficult it is to join IPOB now. But you have to be on the queue. You have to work hard to be there. Because if you think we are going to bar for Fulani, if you ever think we will bar for Yoruba, Usa, if you ever think we will bar for all these governors, the time they will run, no where we, we want to make sure that that time they begin to run, no where we hold them in the world. Sp break Nigeria now. Break Nigeria now. Anybody listening to me, we know that Nigeria atrocity cannot be controlled. And we cannot be blackmailed for what we know nothing about. We will not allow ourselves to continually be blackmailed. We know what to holding all of you together. And we will touch what you hold here. But this is the part you don't like. <clears throat> Let us be sincere to ourselves. Let us tell ourselves the truth. My grandfather is not in Nigeria. How many of you have seen my, my, my leader's uh, birth certificate? He was not born in Nigeria. He was born in Biafra land. It's only my father that may be in Nigeria. But I'm not sure if my father is in Nigeria. So who the hell is doing this evil? And on what ground would anybody come and justify why Nigeria will remain? Except you are a thief. The new generation of homo sapiens. You will suffer because the world is changing to a different dimension. If you do not change your orientation, every evil your fathers has caused on earth will enslave you people. Let me tell you how they are being misguided, but you will not understand. We have many women all over the world because there is shortage of husband. If the world were to be 7 billion in population, I can assure you that 450 billion are women. And if 450 billion are women, then that means... Uh, 250 are men. Let us go by that. If 250 are men, I can assure you that 150 are married already. Now, so if 150 are married, the remaining 100 that are not married, I can assure you that 50 of them are jobless. If 50 of them are jobless, which means they are not going to marry, or else their wife will stab them in the night. And then the remaining 50, I will tell you that 25% uh, of the remaining 50 are children, not up to the age of getting married. And then the remaining 25%, 20% out of them are mad people, mad men. And so they cannot marry. And then the remaining 5%, they are reverend father. And so you see, there is need for more men. But they know this problem. Everybody knows this problem. Instead of them to produce man now, they are producing a, a woman doll. That is to tell you that there are evil men and women, which if good men on earth do not check them. Good men like Donald Trump, if you don't check them out, the world is in trouble. They are doing a fake woman now for you to marry. We know we have a sex woman. No? They are telling you don't marry three, don't marry ten. But they are manufacturing artificial woman. An idiot are buying it. And so, as idiot that you are, they are promoting gay. But idiots are patronizing it. But there are plenty beautiful women every day. What is wrong with human being? Somebody wake up one day, he open company to manufacture woman. Woman that you have versus. That is to tell you how disorganized the world it has become. How disoriented the world has become how all of them have fallen. They are gradually bastardizing into the pit that you never come out from. If there will be plenty women, Oyibo women don't have husband. They are not marrying black chimpanzee. But black chimpanzee, all their women now, they are, they are dancing naked, slay king, slay queen. Then when they are old, they go to Yoruba church. Yoruba pastor removed the remaining one from them. Yet this, solution, this problem, they don't see it as a problem. They are producing the baby for you to, to sleep with. And they, the way they modify it, I, I was watching one online, and I wept this morning. 
you touch that on baby breast. He said, Why are you touching me romantically? I say, I had baby again. And the journalist asked that man, he said, This dumb baby now, are you creating brain or you are creating a sex doll? He said, All of them have to work together. You press the dumb baby now. He said, Don't do that. You are tickling me. Eh? This word. And now, after they finish, they now say, This is $20. This is $30,000 in the era. This is how bad the war has become. And somebody's going to pass a bill and say, yes, it's good uh, to uh, control fornication and adultery. You people are evil. But let me tell you, if you do not stand up as a human being to fight against this evil, the world is not ready for what is coming. But the only people that will be saved in the end is the people who stand in the side of righteousness. Each time I come on air, I talk about go back to your roots. It is because you. it is knowledge too hard for you to understand. So people are even taking it to where I'm not taking it to. But I'll keep, it, I'll keep telling you because one day you will know the truth. The power of creation is what they call black magic. And after the black magic, you have technological magic, which is the white power. And then you have biological magic. The invent of the first and the second world war made the world to begin to combine black magic and technology. And at the end of the Second World War, they went into their secret lab to begin to prepare a biological weapon. And now the world is moving to the verge of the combination of biological weapon, technological weapon, and black magic. And the amazing thing or what you should be ready for is that with the help or aid of this biological weapon, all these robots will become self-aware. Your gun will be self-aware. Your tanker will become self-aware. And the moment they are, in fact, there are a lot of computers that are self-aware already. And the next stage they will move into is a mutation. They will adapt. They will mutate. Like you can see Kunura virus do. Only the power of creation will save you. Only the power of magic, black magic, that will undo all these things you are seeing. So the earlier you go back to your root, the better. But having said so, if you are a Biafran, we encourage you, be honorable, be noble, be sincere, be genuine, be your father's son, be your mother's daughter. For this is the only thing that will save you in the end. I can go on and on and on and on and on. But I tell you, the true fulfillment will come in you, that you die one day knowing that you die for the freedom of your people. Watch men and women who their father fought for. I read people. Some people will call me. They will say, sir, eh, I want to join IPOB. You see, my father told me that he fought for Biafra. You see the joy. You see the happiness in them. I tell you, it is their father that is happy. Those of you who your father will sabotage, you are fighting so Biafra will not come. But Biafra will come. You don't know how proud we are. I met a friend yesterday, a very close friend, and I told him, he said, why are you not living in your house? It's not somebody I can hide for. I said, I cannot stay there because these people will come and murder me at night. We've been to the court. They don't have any charge against me, but they will assassinate me at night. He said, but what did you do? I said, because I'm a Biafra. He said, you, you are a Biafra? I said, of course. He said, but I don't know. I said, have you heard of George Onibe? He said, yes. I said, I'm George Onibe. He said, oh, Ghana lie. I don't do suspect or Ghana lie. Because when everybody keeps calling you Reverend, Reverend, they don't even know you are George Onibe. But the beautiful thing there is that you never know how proud I am. I was very happy. It was a Nigerian man now that was telling me why we must work hard and destroy Nigeria. But every Nigerian knows the evil of Nigeria that Nigeria must be destroyed. And that is why every day I tell people, IPOB is the answer to my prayer. And if this is the moment I have existed, I think I am more fulfilled than any Nigeria that has ever worked on this earth. It is a privilege. It is a honor. This is the best thing that can happen to any black man. Any black man, you must support IPUB. Because Africa will never be free until Biafra is restored. And Nigeria will know no rest. British government will not see peace until they dismember Nigeria. Those of you in Nigeria here, be a France. Take your place of honor. Look for IPB family closer to you and join. And don't let anybody deceive you. Of course, I'll be back in a minute.
respect to my leader, Mazi Nnamdi Kano. Obodo Kenenu Kano, Nnamdi Kano, Nnamdi Kano, Ahamadike. Kani Kenebe Nukano, Nnamdi Kano, Nnamdi Kano, Ahamadike. Ahamadike Biafra, Nnamdi Kano, Nnamdi Kano. Ahamadike Ika kugondi lo yo Namdikano Namdikano Ahamadike something that touched me constantly and that is the single fact to know that men and women are ready to die that truth may prevail and Mazi for constantly repeat it we made a promise to ourselves we will keep living by the truth but that is what has kept us all this while you are a Biafran you are not an IPOB you are not a truthful person it doesn't matter who, who you are if you are a Nigerian, you have not prepared your mind to chase out all these leaders out of Nigeria, you are not sincere to yourself. I want the world to notice how much they are going to rob. Kunu virus, Abi Kunura virus. Just watch out how much they are going to rip you. To tell you how bad Nigeria is now. Just Kunu virus enter Nigeria in one week. Solution to kill Kunu virus or kill Kunura virus is everywhere. I have machine that can dictate it. But China have not gotten machine that can dictate it. You now have soap and toilet, even food. There are food now. Some hotels now are doing announcement. Come and eat here. Pursue our food, pursue Kodora virus. This is how bad Nigerian can be. And you are evil if you tolerate Nigeria in its tiniest moment. Of course, our lines are open. You are a friend, you are here to join IPOB. I encourage you. Some people say you are begging. I'm not begging. It's, my, it's our duty to save you. Eh, it is left for you. You can take a ship to the river. You don't force them to drink water. We are not begging you. We are asking you to save yourself. This is how it always is. The pastors go preaching to you. Accept Jesus Christ. It's your choice. No one come preaching to them. Enter the ark. It's their choice. Lord who went to Sodom, telling them to do the right thing. It's their choice. John the Baptist start crying in the wilderness. It's their choice. And Jesus came saying, doing the same thing. It's their choice. Moses did the same thing. It's their choice. But let me tell you, it is your choice this morning. But there is no greater fight to fight than fighting for the freedom of your people. Send us your name, your location, and your phone number to our WhatsApp line. I can show you in less than no time. Coordinators are working tirelessly to make sure they get to you. And that WhatsApp line is 70 Zero seven zero eight one five four five six four two. Our direct line is zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one. And the special number for the female is zero eight one two eight eight five eight six one four zero eight one two eight eight five eight six one four. And please, when you call, 
Hit the nail on the head. You just have one minute because we have limited of time. When you call, please hit the nail on the head. One minute. Go ahead. Let's see how many calls we'll be able to take this morning. Of course, the wonderful Biafran people know who they really are. Yes, uh, caller on WhatsApp. Are you there? Call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Yes, a caller on the line, your name and where are you calling from? Uh, nice, Toto Oma. Good morning from here. Mm. He the nail on the hair. Um, I want to speak. Because you said I tried our line. Our line was switched off. The report is... Yes. And, uh, yesterday, uh, I have to switch off the female line because I was using the phone to anchor that program. So it's not possible okay, okay. to leave both of them on. But it's on right now. Go ahead. Yes. So there is this attack from uh, Hansman. Yeah, on him towards Patakot. They cut off from one woman hand and uh, so the children, they throw the children inside the river. So as they have been telling people, let them they watch for this is not the time to just be western anyhow. People sit up. Everybody should sit up. And uh, I should say that we are not here to pamper any idiot. If you mess up, we come here and tell you that we are watching you. And um, IPM was built on righteousness, as God knows it. So any any one of them that think this is platform to do business, they have said already. So if you know, if you don't know any business to do, I have uh, advised them to leave IPOB alone, go and join the Afra because if we get the Afra, all of us are the Afra. Then to you to stay in that platform, the views us to favor. Those of them in Anambra telling you um, you are from Odin Society and uh, also Afghan, they sent you to come and uh, do one or two assignments from, uh, to the women. We are watching you. And uh, we get calling himself so because they are saying me they are calling them their names here. Because if you are calling them, you are promoting over, you are promoting them. So they think they are innocent. And the person here in Aba, we are watching you, taking your people, or gone more, or, or gone mad. We are watching all your every must come upon you. Wait, take this, the notice of that. Thank you very much. So, Thank and the woman that you, be, you are telling to be announcing your name, which is not the platform to. Call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Hit the nail on the head. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning. Go ahead. You have one minute. Okay. My name is uh, Akonyo Wetre, calling from Aba. Go ahead. So I, just, I just want to thank you this morning for your work. The way you are working for the whole entire Biafran. I say, may God keep you alive. My for brother, you to see Biafra. I see privilege. I can never be more grateful that I have this privilege, I must tell you. I continue to respect my It's not leaders. easy. It's a privilege and a honor, the greatest of my life, I can tell you. I can tell you. I'm always so, so, that, so guys, have, uh, that the leadership deem me fit to allow me to serve in this capacity. I wish I could do more, my brother. Go ahead, please. It's not easy. I must confess. Thank you, and God will give you strength. You will see Biafra. Thank you. Very we will much. fight together and restore Biafra, no yes, matter sir. how the our Sergeant Jawid want it. Of course, In the end, we we'll win. Of course, they don't Thank you. A stand. Yes, a caller on the female line. Caller on the female line. Good morning, Samad. Good morning, Ada. Go ahead, please. You have one minute. Well, I want to thank you for all your work. Make a little man the
Thank you very much. We must continue. Our people must remain focused and do the right thing. No sentiment. Look at the intention. Look at the mindset behind everything our leaders are doing. I, I don't judge people, but I, I read people trying to understand them. Each time Mazim Efo comes on air, I feel his pain. And that pain is to express a certain things he don't want from us. But of course, he's a father, he has to bear that pain. And we are his children, we will continue offending him. And as our father, he will continue to correct us. But understand on ease is the head that wears the crown. People don't see this. I listen to some people and they talk and talk and talk and talk. There are a lot of things people don't understand. We are not heartless. We are not heartless. There are things maybe I should not have said, but I, you have to hear it. If you see me and Chike Dozi and Quarry here, you think we know before. If you see me and Tony Quarry, me and everybody quarreling, these are my leader. And believe me, I respect them. They can tolerate me. I respect them. But they must understand their leaders. And what would they do? They must take us as their baby. You don't know what it takes to do Chime for. You won't even pray for it. But, but do they have choice? If Chuko Kikabi Ama called, do they have choice? When our leader comes, or people think he's enjoying it. He think he's enjoying it. If you have access to the information they have, your head, that is Araga bargain no, eh? If you have access to the information they have, we are not releasing it for you. We want to manage, he wants to manage your capacity. If we tell you what we know and they are doing to you and pour it on the ground now, it will be hard for you to believe. But Nigeria will sink immediately. That is why we are warning anybody because nobody will blame us tomorrow. But what are we proud? What are we proud of? Is it our private jet? Is it our uh, perfect relay station? Is it what? Somebody challenged me in one forum yesterday and said, My village needed this thing. I gave that guy Ebola, sharp, sharp. He has not spoken in that uh, 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 platform since. I gave him correct Ebola. But he was right in what he's saying. But this time, we will not blame ourselves for what we are going to do if Nigeria continue to remain. It is honorable to fight the fight of freedom. Yes, sir, my brother and WhatsApp, are you still there? Yes, Mazunyi. You morning. have one minute. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Yes, Mazunyi. This is Okwabu calling you from the bottom of the top of the world. Uh, as, the always, Navy. as always. Yes, and um, I want to say a happy new year to all the Afrans. I want to say a happy new year to all my ancestors. I want to wake up my ancestors from every corner from Ike Unko Afro Orie this morning to perform this wonderful ritual of cleansing from inside our stomach, from inside our cones where they have colonized and where they have planted the bad blood that has dumbfounded my people. As I pour out this water, I pour out that name, Nike, Nigeria, 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 Nigeria. I pour out that name from every colon that has been colonized, that has affected the brains of our people not to see, but they will see because the ones that are chosen will wake up. This morning, as I spit out this first day of this new year, this new year that our people know is the actual dates that we're supposed to follow, I spit it out again six times. Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. And I drink the water of life into my colon. Thank you, Mazen. Thank you, Good my morning. brother. We must continue. Our people must understand. It is our identity we are asking for. They didn't give it to us and they can take it from us. Wickedness has to stop. But it doesn't matter who you are. Anywhere you like, hide. It's as simple as that. 
caller on the line. Your name and where are you calling from? One minute. Good morning. My Lord, I bless you. I bless you too. My Lord, I bless our leader. My name is Jennifer. I'm calling from Enugu province of Jaffa land. I send the eight eight zero to continue to protect all of you and protect our leader and bless him well, well. I just have one thing to say. For those who want to, to be a hero of freedom fighting, but they don't want to sacrifice and they don't want to, to give their wealth, they don't want to to give their time. They want to be called the hero. One day, you go cut them out with judge all of us anyway. Thank you very much. I just much. want to say to those who continue to sacrifice their time, their energy, and their work to make sure that their fire comes. That's why sometimes I would do say, Allah, don't mind us if we say it says to you that you are the best we have ever seen in Jafra land. You will not believe us because here you are sacrificing everything sacrificable just for us. And they are here with us in Jafra land. The AK Kero will protect you. I told them that if you want to thank our leader, thank him very, very well. If you see our leader, shake him and shake him and shake him until he start complaining. Because me, I'm praying for him. Uh, it's not now that I will thank him, I will thank him later. I'm praying for him that you will come and will protect him everywhere he is. That's the promise I made to him. He promised me that he will restore Biafra for me. And I promise him that I will keep praying for him until Biafra is restored. The AK Kero will bless you. And keep protecting you because you are here in this danger zone. Where we are here in the Afalan, this danger zone. And we'll continue. We'll not go back. We'll not relent. No matter what we sacrifice, no matter the life we sacrifice, we will not go back. We'll continue until the Afra is restored. May you go, Kadama, bless you, my Lord. May you go, Kadama, protect you and guide you and keep guiding you to the end of this struggle. Thank you. Our people must remain focused. There is no, the, the world is simple. We have been living by what they told us. Our father knew who we were. Our leaders say they fought Britain almost 30 years before they were conquered. They didn't submit. And now, after the Civil War, they reprogrammed us as Biafra. And today, in our very life, our land is being taken from us. And you see all these wise men and women, they refer you to what Nigeria say. They refer you to what Nigeria say. But who is Nigeria? Is it David Umaru that was cited to was saying that he is there to obey the constitution of one Nigeria? Not the people of Nigeria. The, the question should be, did our father as a people make the constitution of Nigeria or somebody gave it to us? And if somebody gave that constitution to us without our consent and we obey it, what does it mean to you? Honestly, what does it mean to you? And you judge us by it. You are evil. My brother wrote to me. He said, are you now teaching black magic? And I asked him a question. What is black magic? And what is white magic? Because I don't even know. But that is what they call it. What is black magic and what is white magic? It's the same way they say white lie and black lie. Who made them black? Who made them white? Why are they black? Why are they white? I want you to understand the name they call it. 
IPOB is a terrorist. That is black magic. Boko Haram are common criminal. That is white magic. If you can reason beyond what you see, good for you. Is IPOB not a terrorist? Is that not what Nigeria say? Is IPOB truly a terrorist? So if you want to know what black magic is, that is what black magic is. That innocent people will be classified as guilty people. And what magic is the British magic? That Fulani herdsmen were one time foreigners. All of a sudden, they receive over automatic visa to become Nigeria. Today now, with the money stolen from our land, our, our land, they will use it to go and sponsor them and give them good life in abroad. Is that not white magic? Is that not white magic? Is that not government magic? Fella call it government magic. They will bring candle and they tell you it's neighbor. I'm not sentiment. I tell you the truth. I do not know why we hate ourselves. Which one is white magic now? And which one is black magic? And what makes it black magic? Because we boom and called it so. And then we are rightfully monkey and babu. We are chimpanzee and we are everything they say that we are. And then why are we fighting for freedom? Well, you both made me Nigeria. I should remember that being a Nigeria is, black, is white magic. But being a Biafra is white magic. If you understand what I'm saying, good for you. If you don't understand, be doing to 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 ruru to 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 ruru. It's your concern. You have one minute, caller on the line. Caller on WhatsApp. I do not like people who call and they're waiting to be listening. Caller on WhatsApp, you have one minute. Caller on WhatsApp. Hello. Go ahead, please. Hello. Good morning from here. Good morning. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Maz, Maz, good morning. Good morning. You have one minute. The word is uh, I greet you. Thank you. I greet you. My word is not that too much. I greet you and I bless you. All the words, all the efforts you have been putting on this program, except the planned and the deaf one that will say they are not been hearing and they are not been seeing what you have been doing on this place. If anyone thinks, and also I greet Maze, our great leader, Maze Nandekano, and his deputy yesterday, I was listening to him. I pray to Kama will bless every one of you. He say, he say, I want to advise those people who think that you are eating or they have been, I don't know what they think. Who is contributing the money that you, they think you are eating? How many of us have been calling? How many of us have ever paid one naira a dime to this account and say, okay, these people, this is their salary? I don't know how people will just begin to think rubbish and begin to touch maybe what they think is right. Look at our man, Nandekano. He's going for what turn now, which every one of us is going to stand up. He's going there for us. This man is going to that place to go and suffer for us. Are we thinking at all? It made me, it made me feel bad. When I begin to see when people begin to reason, yeah, I know they will be thinking that because they, they say heart of a man is always full of evil. I know they will be thinking that, yes, you are there, you are enjoying. What are you enjoying? Do you think if you're working abroad there, you're not going to be making it? What, what, how, who is paying you salary? Who is paying Mazen and the kind of salary? A man has been sacrificing all his time, all his life. First, Thank you very much. The advice, I want to advise our people. Our people should be. If they should wake up. They should wake up. Thank they should you stop thinking much. all those rubbish thinking. Oh. We must continue. Our people must understand. Calling me in Nigeria as a, a Biafra is a black magic. It's evil. That is black magic. I'm a Biafra. You should come out to say I'm a Nigeria. It's evil. It's black magic. I think Oyibuma says so. Then white magic is that you have to accept it. If we do not understand the need why we must free ourselves, and then our children should get ready. We should become managed to the level that everything they say build our life. Who has they done? Tell me a country that means well for anybody in the world since I was born. 
I think only Donald Trump is the person I see coming out to do small, small good. We have not seen the good world self. Why has the world lie in wickedness? Why do they lie to themselves? Were they there when God laid the foundation of the world? A case for another day, we will look into that very study of black magic and white magic. We both talk lie now, white lie. I talk lie now, now black lie. White lie can take you to heaven. Black lie will take you to hellfire. And you want me to accept that nonsense? When Oyibo do juju, they become mutant. Oyibo and witches and wizards are mutant. Your children go, they watch them for school. They call themselves Wolverine, S-Men, Superman. You don't know say na juju be that, but now Oyibo magic. If I be S-Man now or, or Superman or Spider-Man, I don't become witches and wizards. Why can't we understand? But yet, they are the people using occultic power to control the brain of black man. In fact, goodbye from here.